Hey loves, welcome back for another makeup tutorial. And today we're gonna be doing my neon series. Today is gonna be an orange neon, okay? And we're just prepping our eyes with a little tart shape tape and setting it with some Laura Mercier. And we're just gonna put that all over the lid. And today we are going to use the Tarlet Toasted Palette. I love this palette because it has several orange tones. It's like the perfect palette to create a nice orange eye. And I took the first color, which is Cashmere. And no, I'm just saying it's Cashmere. And we're gonna put that on the outer V and drag it in the middle of the eye but just focus it on the outer V. Make sure you pack that color in there. And I'm doing the same thing with the other eye as you can see. And I wanted to do this because neons are popping right now. It's trending in like the fashion world, if you know what I'm saying. So I wanted to do orange. The next color I'm thinking lime green, but yeah, I'm getting off subject. But if you know, you know. So that's why I wanted to incorporate this in my video, do something new on my channel. And I thought you guys would really like it and appreciate something diff. Next color, we're going to take the color Cozy. This is really like a really nice burnt color. I feel like it's more reddish. And we're going to top that off right, right on top of Cashmere. And we're just building these colors and incorporate it all together. Then I mixed up the color cashmere and latte and I put that right on top of all those colors just to blend everything out. And we are going to do a cut crease you guys. Well honestly no we're not really doing a cut crease but I just wanted to put a layer of concealer just to really enhance that orange color that you, you're going to see I'm going to put it on so this is the main reason why. I put the concealer on because it's not really a cut crease but it's just to enhance that color and just make it look good boom bow really really bright and you can see I'm just being super careful because once you put concealer on your eyeshadow um, it's not coming back it's basically erased and I'm doing it the same thing with the other eye. And this is my favorite concealer brush. It's from Morphe. And it's amazing for cut creases, for your eyebrows. I mean, I use it for everything. And I will put that down below if you guys are interested in a new concealer. Because this one's really bomb. And one of my favorite palettes, the Electric Palette from Urban Decay. This is Triple OG. Um, I love it. I've had it for years and it's still so pigmented and I'm using this color the orange color on in it I'm actually going to get that Hold on. okay I just had to grab it real quick and make sure I got the name for you but this is called slow burn which is funny because I was using all like burnt tones and orange colors and this is called slow burn but isn't it so pretty? I just love this orange so much. I love that palette. It has really great colors and it's it's super bright and I feel like they're like neon. You could you could just see by the cover of the palette that is bomb. But Urban Decay, they're very um, popular for those things. A lot of vibrant and like electric colors. I love them. And then I'm going to take that color warmth and i'm just going to blend the edges out okay because you just want to blend we gotta keep blending okay you guys and i use the color fireside which is a very very deep chocolate brown shade and i'm using that to smoke out the edges just to give it a little bit more depth and I'm just focusing that on the outer V. I'm not dragging it in at all, as you can see. I'm just blending out the edges, make sure there's no harsh lines. And I got you guys close up 
because I want you to see how I do my eyeliner. I use the NYX matte eyeliner now. I love this eyeliner. It's amazing. It stays on all day. I used to use the Wet n Wild liner. If you know me and you've been watching my channel for a while, I love the Wet n Wild liner. But I really loved it when it had this silver tip on it. That was like my favorite of all time. But they switched the formula and now it's just like all black. And I use it for a little bit, but I realized that it was irritating my eye. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but... It was irritating my eye and I was so sad I had to look for something else another eyeliner and I found this one and I love it so we are using this to create a wing you know I see a lot of people do videos and they barely put any wings anymore like they just use their lashes but I don't know I really like wings I feel like it just like makes my eyes look really pretty but I'm sure you could use this without a wing and boom, we're done with that eye, and we're going on to the next one. I had to get used to this though, because as you can see, it's super long, like the eyeliner um, handle. So I had to get used to that because I was using the Wet n Wild for like 10 years, and it has a short handle, and um, the tip of it is different as well like the apply to apply the eyeliner but I got used to it and yeah I got it down you just gotta practice you guys you gotta practice is key and I'm also using this wet n wild mascara it really doesn't do nothing for my eyes I just use it so to make my eyes look black but and, and I, I love it because it spreads my eyelashes apart. And I'm using House of Lashes. This is Nor Fairy, one of my faves. And I use um, the Benefit Primer. And I'm using Fenty today. And this shade is, I believe, 270. That is this shade. Doesn't it look so good? I haven't used it in a while so I felt like I wanted to use something a little different but once in a while I like using this foundation I don't like it as an everyday foundation but I feel like that's just with every foundation though like when you use a foundation every single day it's like it gets boring you're like oh I'm used to it and then you try something else and then it looks good you know but I'm just blending this out with brushes. I believe my beauty blender was like dirty at the time. So I was just like, I'm just going to use my brushes. Brushes are still good, you guys. I have a lot of great... Oh, Starbucks break. Okay, so I'm going to use the Urban Decay um, concealer. This concealer is so full coverage. This is a 24-hour wear concealer I believe I will write that down below everything that I'm using and I love it I love I like a full coverage concealer more than I like a full coverage foundation um, is there anyone else who agrees with me if y'all agree with me please let me know down below because I know I'm not the only one I think it's because of my like dark circles and all that I just feel like it just makes my face look like boom you know what I mean like really really snatched i don't know something about a full coverage concealer like yes give it to me but um a i mean i like full coverage foundations as well but i just feel like i don't need my foundation to be super full coverage and then my concealer to be super full coverage too full coverage too because i feel like it makes it look a little cakey in my opinion, I mean, everyone's opinion is different. Everybody's skin type is different. So I'm just saying, this is just my opinion, you guys, all right? And for contouring, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. And this is in the color Deep. And I love using um, concealers. I actually use a lot of concealers for contouring um my fave honestly is the la girl i just haven't found anything 
that good but if you guys have anything that you think i should use for contouring as far as concealers or whatever let me know because I i'm always looking for something but for some reason the la girl pro concealer has just always been my favorite it, it blends amazing and um they have a lot of different shades for different people and i've used a lot of their shades i think i've used like three shades of theirs and they all look really good on the skin for contouring but yeah i'll be switching it up I'm just blending my nose with my favorite brush i got that brush from the it cosmetic collection they should have an ulta still but that collection i love it. i think it only came with like four brushes but they are all so good and so worth it and for my face i think i'm setting it with the laura mercier powder um i can't wait to do another tutorial guys i mean i have a couple new things that i want to try but okay and on to the next so we're setting that with the anastasia contour kit one of my favorite powder contour kits i mean this is like the og right this is one of the mains and i'm also using an anastasia the 30 blush i will write everything down she has a couple of 30 um, blush sets and i'm gonna write that down and you know i have to use my fenty highlighter the kilowatt highlighter I will write that down below. I love her highlighters. Um, Rihanna's highlighters are awesome. I, I really do love them. But I like switching up my um, my highlighters. Honestly, one of my faves are the Rihanna and the the Becca highlighters. Those are like one of my favorite brands. There's a lot of good ones, but. I don't know, I just love how it looks on the skin. And I'm using the same Wet n Wild mascara. If you guys hear any of my little babies, you guys already know how it is. If you watch my vlogs, you already know. I'm never alone. There's always somebody. And today I am using the color Cork from um, MAC. Love their lip liners. And it's more like a brown lip liner but i love it i didn't use strip down today you guys and i was my favorite oh nudes nudes today i chose the huda beauty liquid lipstick this is such a beautiful color you know you guys i haven't really purchased a lot of huda beauties but i'm definitely gonna look into now because i actually love them and their formula but i think i chose this because it looks really nude on me and it has a little peachy undertone and it just looks great with the whole look and I added some more I just love the formula of these looks like, like can you see it's it's like water and it just like blends so nice I, I don't feel like it dries out my lips I think that's the main reason why I love it so I'm just blending out the edges because I don't want it to be um, super harsh Hey you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this. I just wanted to stop the video and just thank you guys so much for watching. And if you love, love, love this colorful look, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel and please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and all for my loyal followers and subscribers. Please make sure you put on the notification so you're notified whenever I put up a video sorry you guys i have like tmz on if you hear something in the background but yes i totally love this look uh let me know down below if you want to see more colorful more neon more more looks um neon's really in right now so i, I want to incorporate a lot of that in my videos i'll maybe do like a little neon series on my channel so thank you guys for watching i <laughs> can't even catch my breath and i really enjoyed this look i actually really love it and i love you guys please watch my recent vlog if you haven't watched it yet and i will be doing an updated vlog coming to you soon probably by next week maybe and yeah, bye guys. Love y'all.